The uh, guest is uh, Mr. Roland Jones, and the uh, topic is his book, Standing Up and uh, Standing Out. Uh, at the end of the uh, first segment, uh, Mr. Jones, I think you indicated that uh, you are now an author and motivational speaker as well as a Toastmaster. Uh, well, why don't you tell us uh, in a real sense uh, some of the things that you wish to accomplish and how you wish to accomplish it within, that, within the realm of, of your public speaking, a motivational speaking career? Well, you know, uh, basically I begin every speech with the four most important words. Excuse me, brother. Mm -hmm. Two most important mm -hmm. words to come from my mouth. Mm -hmm. I know. Uh -huh. Good. And you know what those words that are? That sounds like I ought to know. I, That's I think exactly right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Stand up. Uh huh. Stand out. Out. Mm -hmm. Now, those words are, for the most part, the most important words you hear me say. Mm -hmm. Because it sets the tone for what I'm going to talk about. Mm -hmm. Principles of, su of success. Good. Mm -hmm. They were first exposed to me uh, 60 years ago from mm -hmm. my grandmother, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> Cox Jones. Mm -hmm. And she said to me and her other grandchildren, to be successful, you can't just be like everybody else. Mm -hmm. You got to stand up mm -hmm. and you got to stand, stand out. out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, Mama Tosh herself was a strong, standout woman. She even stood about six feet mm -hmm. tall. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, these are the kind of principles in my book, and these mm -hmm. are the kind of principles I talk about. Mm -hmm. My dad was a Baptist minister. Okay. And he also was a pastor of a rural elementary school. A, a pastor uh, of a church uh, mm -hmm. and principal of a rural elementary school mm -hmm. in West Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And daddy, you know, preached to my brother and me more than he did anybody else. Mm -hmm. And he always that. said, <laughs> if you accept a job for a penny a day, okay. never complain, just do your best. Mm -hmm. Because God blesses a child who does his best. Mm -hmm. His favorite was always autograph your work with excellence. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's my favorite. You never lower yourself by doing any job. Mm -hmm. You dignify that job by doing your best. Good. Those are the things I speak about. Mm -hmm. I tell stories relating to those things. Mm -hmm. And one story I, I often tell is about my first day washing the trash can mm -hmm. at the okay. And it was hot too. It was in July, mm -hmm. 1965. Mm -hmm. I mean, really hot. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I always said, you know, hot with a capital H. Mm -hmm. you know? And uh, I was scrubbing those cans. And uh, the manager was on vacation. And he stopped by. You know, that was the assistant manager had been running mm -hmm. things. He stopped mm -hmm. by. And, and he, went inside and talked to the other trainees. He never looked my way. Mm -hmm. but I was scrubbing those trains, man, inside, outside, top mm -hmm. and bottom, mm -hmm. getting the hill, getting them sparkling mm -hmm. clean, mm -hmm. man. I really was. And uh, I was just about that close to saying I'm going to hang good, this good. up. Uh -huh. Quit. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then, then, a, then a, uh, a customer walked over to him and said, those are the cleanest trash cans I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. You should give that young fella a raise. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you, man, it turned me on. I, uh -huh. mean, I thought, man, I thought about that. But, but, but I knew uh, I was doing my best dignifying uh, the job when uh, I got from work, my uh, work with excellence. Uh -huh. And I love to tell that story because it means so much just doing what my best. What it did best. for you. Right. Yeah, and uh, standing out. Those cans uh, were standing out. In, in spite of the fact of uh, what the cans you might have thought they represented, but now it, you, you, you cleaned the cans the best that they could be cleaned. Yeah, and I, I realized and I, I didn't lower myself. Uh -huh. You know, I dignified that job. Mm -hmm. and, and I love speaking about that because mm -hmm. I think that's one of the most important principles of success is always do your best. Mm -hmm. and, and stand out and not blend in. You stand out. When you do your best, your best gets better. Mm -hmm. And you're going to always stand out. Mm -hmm. And that's my, that's my primary message. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the book has 409 pages of it. Mm -hmm. It begins with uh, 
uh, my principle is standing up and standing out. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the first principle is, uh, is strive for barefoot service. Mm -hmm. Strive for barefoot service. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't know what barefoot service mm -hmm. is, it's the kind so good to knock your socks off. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Which means you stand out if you give barefoot mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. Satisfaction is not good enough. We must impress. Mm -hmm. To satisfy blends in. To impress stands out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And any time we stand out by doing our best, we get better mm -hmm. and better mm -hmm. and better. And as a result of getting better, you know, we gain attention and we oppress people. Mm -hmm. And people see us standing out, creating an opportunity for us to serve. Mm -hmm. and those are the kind of things I talk about. And also as a part of Barefoot Service, you know, we communicate that, that life is an exchange of services. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And people complain about not making enough money. Okay. I make more money, mm -hmm. it's very simple. You give more and better but, service. Uh -huh, Simple uh -huh. as that. Okay. And we talk about those kind of things. Mm -hmm. And service is a habit. Mm -hmm. As all su principles of success are habits. Mm -hmm. From a habit of giving service. I can practice giving service on Dr. Haney. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can practice I giving understand. service to my wife mm -hmm. and friends. And everybody I meet is a potential customer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so and okay. that's, that is where... Okay. That is where the rubber meets the road in terms of your moving forward rather than standing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, being one of the uh, first franchisees in, in McDonald's, why, why don't you say something in reference to that? How, how, how did you become involved in that? And, and what would you suggest today if an individual watching this show might want to uh, aim at something like that? What should they do? Stand up. And stand, stand up. up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they have to start, they, in, in other words, they can start at a McDonald's <laughs> franchise yeah, or a Wendy's a, franchise or that, whatever. That's, that's a good way to do and, it. And be willing yeah. to uh, yeah. do the job that others don't want to do. That's exactly right. Uh, in exactly spite of right. the fact that they will be criticized yeah. and everything but the child of God and et cetera. <laughs> and and, 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 and is, 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 was that the kind of thing that you had to overcome? It was, it was, it was overcome, but it was a joy to do so. Mm -hmm. It was a joy to do so because I really realized as time went on how important it was to always do my best. And then, of course, we'll be back with our audience for this very, very short uh, commercial break. We're talking to Mr. Roland Jones.